Hello everybody, this is Nora. Welcome back to my vlog. I'm already slipping up with my resolution to do one vlog a week, as it's already week three of the new year. And I didn't do one last week. I have my reasons. I'm going to try and keep up with them, or make up for them. I'd like to do more videos than just me talking at the camera, but I just haven't had the time to really creatively process what I want to do. Or think about it, because you know my life consists of waking up, going to work, going to the gym, and sleeping. So also, resolution there is to, you know, have more fun, try more new things. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching again, if you're watching. And tonight I'm going to try and keep it short, um, a few reasons being that one, I'm not home alone, and I hate vlogging when I'm not home alone because... I don't like the thought of somebody walking by and listening to me. Um, it's a weird self-conscious thing. It's not that I'm embarrassed to vlog, it's more so like, I don't know, it's like people listening into me while, while I'm like actively trying to do something, whether it's sing, perform, or write, it just, I like, it renders me unable to do it. So I'm just going to pretend, even if someone is out there, that nobody's there. Um, so there's that. Also, I want to take off my makeup. <laughs> and get into comfortable clothes, um, because I've had this on all day. It's pretty cute though, it's a Bershka blazer, it's red corduroy, um, P.S. Bershka, I love you, please sponsor me, or hire me as a model. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, I want to get into comfortable clothes, and I want to get my face all clean, but obviously I'm not going to vlog barefaced, because I made that mistake once, two years ago. <laughs> And all those vlogs, I'm trying to kind of wipe off the internet because, you know, I think the content was good, but I can't bear to look at myself like that. Which also brings me to the conversation point of how much I've grown and evolved in my own personal style, which I'm really proud of. That's something that I think really took off after I graduated college, so the end of 2017. And I realized, you know, I want to actually look nice and pick out things that I like because for the longest time I was either just wearing all sweats, you know, well, which is fair because I was going to class, but it was, I was lazy. I was letting it spill over into, like, my outside life. So it'd be like, sweats everywhere, no makeup. And you know what, some people rock that, and I think that's cool, and I'm all about that, and, like, embracing natural beauty whatsoever, but then I realized I was like, I want to do more with myself. I want to feel confident in my skin, I want to feel good about myself, and I just really wasn't. I was just kind of going out, and I, I was always kind of like ducking my face, I didn't want people to see me. Luckily I went to a big enough school that like, no one ever really did see me. I was also a hermit, kind of stayed in my apartment. But yeah, you know, once getting a full-time professional job and, you know, making more money, I was really able to step back and develop and carry my own style and wardrobe. And this is something I, in the future, would really love to do more videos on, like specifically putting together outfits, um, where I get my clothes, like some of my favorite combinations, pairing it with makeup. But that stuff is like stuff I have to plan way out. I don't have nearly any of the equipment to do it. I have no good lighting. I have no good cameras or stands or tripods. So it's something I'd like to do eventually. But yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. Um, the Nora of 2016 and 2017 was nothing like the Nora of today. And you know, like, I cringe, but we all have to start somewhere. We all have to grow, and, you know, I had humble beginnings as a dyke who liked sweats. <laughs> and now I'm a dyke who still loves sweats, but I masquerade behind a look that makes me look like I have my shit together and I know what I'm doing, even though I don't. So, of course... Um, so yeah, I forget what I was going to segue into after that comment, but, um, fashion, all that good stuff. I got my hair done since the last time you saw me. It's very bright, just the way I like it. So, you know, it was also a nice little boost going into 2019. Jeez, I almost said 2017. I was like, ugh, don't want to go back to that year. <laughs> um, so, you know, new hair, new me, YOLO, um, but no, it's, it's been good. It's been a busy couple weeks with work and everything, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the new year so far. I'm being really positive about it. 
I'm always looking to embrace the future and whatever changes may come, even as scary as it can be, especially at this point in my life, because, let's be honest, I'm like every other millennial out there, I don't know what's going on, <laughs> I don't know what I want to do or what I'm going to do, but, um, yeah, so, there's that. I'm like resisting every urge in me to go and just show you more eyeshadow palettes because I pretty much did that all last, all last time. I'm going to show you a couple though, just because, because I'm here, I'm in front of my makeup station. So the other day I finally ordered um, my first eyeshadow palettes off ColourPop. Um, I've ordered lipsticks off them before, but I've never tried their shadows. and. I really like it. It's for the price, it's pretty decent. So I went ahead and I splurged a little bit for me. And I got the lip palette, the wet palette, and one of their Jelly Mushes shadows, which is like kind of like a jelly liquid eyeshadow in the shade Foxes. You cannot see that because my light is making everything out of focus, but I would love to swatch these all at my arm, but. I'm gonna make a mess. I'm like a five-year-old kid in the art room, just like paint everywhere. So I'll just show you. Hopefully the light won't make it too distorted. But we got some really pretty reds, oranges. Can you see that? I don't know. I'm just going for it. And the lid palette. And there's a glittery one, so you know me with glitter. And then the wet palette is, I bet you guessed, the blues. And I'm obsessed with this silver shade, Thickums, and then this teal shade called Lol I'm Crying. Lol I'm Crying. So, like, super nice. I am going to swatch the jelly one, though, because it's, it's stunning. Like, I can't even. <laughs> Please shoot me, I didn't just say that. I like pride myself on not being annoying like that and then of course I go ahead and I'm like, I can't even. Okay, so. You can see on my finger. And I'm just going to put some on my wrist. Oh, it's so vibrant and pretty. Oh. I just spilled some ginger ale. I don't know if you can see that. You know what, I'm gonna try and show you another day when it's actually light out. But yeah, it's it's gorgeous. It's very shimmery. It stays on for... It stays on pretty well for something that you think would just wipe right off. But I'm happy. I'm satisfied with my purchases. Yeah. God, we're at 8 minutes already. Alright. Mm. The funniest thing happened today when I was out shopping at the store. So I was trying on these sunglasses, which I don't have with me, I should. They're kind of older retro sunglasses, because I like to incorporate a lot of retro style into my outfits. Little things here and there, like I can never dress fully, truly vintage. But you know, it's like a... I can't even think of the word I'm trying to say. I'm like a walking collage of shit, but anyway, these glasses were hexagonal and circular, and it looked like something that maybe like a 30s film star would wear, right? So I was trying them on, and there was this one um, employee who was kind of watching me. She was super nice, and she was like, oh, I like those sunglasses. I was like, yeah, right? It's kind of a look. And then I saw these big floppy hats, like, not that big. I want them to be so desperately something like Joan Crawford were in the 30s, like a floop over one eye. But you know, I couldn't resist myself. I wanted to try it on. Didn't look like that at all. I kind of looked like an out of place um, cowboy pirate thing. <laughs> but the lady anyway was like, oh my god, you look like this actress. I can't put my finger on her name. She was like, it was from an old movie. And so immediately I'm like perking up because that's my specialty. Here comes somebody. Okay, anyway. So I was like, okay, like 
what movie, what actress are you thinking of? How old is the movie? And she was like, oh, it's gotta be like 30 years old. And I'm like, girl, that's not old. And she was like, oh, what do you mean? She was like, I was like, I like old movies. She's like, oh, like the old black and white ones. I was like, yes, indeed. So she never remembered who the actress was, but I'm not really interested because it wasn't an old Hollywood star. I personally kind of got a bit of a Marlena vibe from them. I was like, okay, I fuck with this. I like this. I have a problem. Like I said, I buy all these sunglasses, but I haven't ordered any contacts, so I'm always wearing my glasses. So I haven't been able to wear any of my sunglasses. Because if I tried to bl drive without these glasses, it would not be a good thing. <laughs> That's how blind I am. Like, yeah, I can't see shit. I can see, like, this close to me. Like, oh, how many fingers are you holding? <laughs> but, um, yeah, also, I thought about, on that subject, I thought about doing LASIK for a while. <sighs> Not gonna do it. Too many, like, horror stories I've read, and, of course, yes, I saw Final Destination 5 with that one bizarre death where the girl was on the table getting the LASIK. But, um, yeah, so... Eyesight, sunglasses, fashion, funny anecdotes. It's like a one-stop shop here at this vlog. But yeah, I guess I'm going to wrap up for now, since I can't think of anything else to say, and I don't want it to be like 10 more minutes of me going, um, um, but I did just get the idea that one of these days, when I'm feeling a little more confident, um, I'd love to do a vlog where instead of like putting on my makeup like I was doing for you, I'll take it off. And then you can see my nighttime skin routine, which really is underwhelming in comparison to my makeup routine. But thank you guys for tuning in. Um, hopefully I'll upload something else next week. If not, I'll make up for it. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.